everyone, it's Margie from the Westchester Children's Museum once again to do a fun activity with you today. And our theme for this week is all about music and what creates some of the sounds in some of the musical instruments that are used. So today, we're actually gonna make a harmonica. So what's a harmonica? How is it used? How are the sounds formed from a harmonica? So our harmonica is a small musical instrument that you actually blow through holes on the side of it and it actually makes music or sound. So what makes that sound are the reeds that are in the metal case inside the harmonica. But we're gonna learn a little bit more about harmonicas because we're gonna make one today. So get ready to make your harmonica. you need to make your harmonica is just a few things and you can grab these at home I'm sure so first what you need to make your harmonica is just a few craft sticks you actually just need two and that's it you actually need a straw we're gonna cut that into smaller pieces you need three rubber bands so you need one that's a thicker one and then you need two that are thinner ones. And then you also need a pair of scissors to cut your straw. But for some fun, maybe we could color or decorate these craft sticks. So if you want, you can add some paints, watercolors, or you can actually use some paint markers. Those will work really well where you can paint your craft sticks and let them dry first or you can actually use colored craft sticks. That is all you need to make your harmonica. So let's get started. So let's get started making our harmonica. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take one of your craft sticks and you want to take your larger rubber band and you want to pull it and stretch it from one end to the other. Once that's done, you want to take your straw and you want to cut it into two pieces that will be about an inch each. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take one and you're going to put it right on top of the rubber band and the craft stick and then you're gonna put another craft stick on top. Now you need to hold it tight. I'm gonna move it down just a teeny bit. And then you're going to wrap your rubber band around and around and around and around and around and around till it's really tight and secure. So then you wanna take your other straw and put it underneath at the end of your harmonica and take your last rubber band and wrap it around and around and around and around and around and we're gonna move our straws a little bit and there is your harmonica. So now we need to test it out. Do you think it'll work? Okay, so I decided to paint mine. So I made it this great purple color and then I made it this blue color on the back. So we're ready to test it out. So let's try and let's see what happens. Here goes. Wow, 
Look at that. I wonder why that happened. What do you think? What would happen if I moved the straws? What would happen if I added extra straws? What if I added extra layers with the rubber bands in between? So try some different things with your harmonica. But let's find out how this works. So what happened was when you blow through those two craft sticks, it caused our large rubber band at the top to vibrate. And that vibrating created the noise that you hear. So when you talk about sound waves, that created a sound wave. And then what happens is that sound wave can go through water solid things and air and then it can go and hit that thin skin that's inside your eardrum so you can hear it but that vibration of the rubber band creates the noise that you hear through the craft sticks and you get a lower pitch sound with the thicker rubber band if you had a thinner rubber band on top, you might get a higher pitch sound. And your sound will change too as you move your straws. So that's what happened and why your harmonica works. So enjoy your harmonica. You can do some fun things with it because you can change it. You can make it sound different. Maybe you can make a case for your harmonica. Maybe you can make two or three of them. It may sound a little different. Maybe you can decorate them so that they're really cool. So have fun with your harmonica and please come see us. We miss you so much down at the museum. So please come visit our website. We have so many great programs for you on our website. We have YouTube videos, we have activities, all kinds of things for you to keep you having fun during the summer. So it's Margie from the Westchester Children's Museum. Thank you so much. And please join us for some of our other programs. Um, and don't forget story time at four o'clock every Friday on Facebook Live. Thanks so much. See you soon.